Hello and, and good afternoon to everyone. My name is Isaac, and uh, this research um, is part of my um, ongoing PhD um, thesis, and also broadly uh, part of an international research project, namely Certifications of Citizenship in Africa, Citizens. So uh, this research um, basically draws on the subjective experiences of the second or third generation Fulani and their descendants. In this case, particularly um, non-pastoral and sedentary pastoral in Ghana, to explore the exclusionary impacts of biometric and new IDs on marginalized groups. So the second or third generation Fulani are Fulani who were born uh, before independence and also they are descendants. So they claim to be citizens. Um, they have voted in elections. They have been integrated into Ghana's economy. They also possess um, IDs that make them eligible to, to get these biometric IDs. So in this research, I attempt to provide a different perspective on the exclusionary tendencies of biometric IDs, which actually defeat the universalistic and also the inclusive nature of these new digital ID systems. So uh, an existing literature has actually looked at how technical and regulatory factors um, cause exclusions, but this research um, analyzes the situation in a different way um, as a complex social, political, and historical problem as I draw on the experiences of the Fulani challenges that they face in assessing these IDs. So in this research, possibly I chose um, three IDs, uh, the Ghana card, the national ID, and the passport, and the voters ID. Basically, these were the cards that actually unfolded in the conversation I had with this um, Fulani at Agogo, where I had my, 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 my field work, and also with the leadership of the Fulani in Ghana. And also these uh, cards are relevant because exclusively they are used as proof of citizenship um, and also um, help in also assessing other documents and also um, using voting and then um, other um, areas in the economy. Um, so before I, I actually go on with the outcome, um, there are factors that actually have shaped the Fulani's positionality. Um, 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 in terms of being uh, non ghanaian and also strangers, and as part of trying to explain the dynamics of why they face challenges um, in assessing these um, um, ID cards that are, um, are proof of citizenship. So there is the issue of ambiguities in this colonial, post-colonial construction of um, who belong and who belong less um, in Ghana. And also there have been strained relationship between the state and the Fulani in the 1970s. And also even, uh, um, 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 even onto date, there have been relatives of expulsion where the Fulanis are actually expelled um, um, from Ghana. And also there have been issues of prejudice and stereotypes, which actually have become ingrained in, in, in the cognitive um, 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 areas of, uh, of, of, of Ghanaians, which actually categorize all Fulanis as foreigners as aliens um, 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 who are not um, um, Ghanaians. So with regards to um, the outcome of the research, so looking at the Fulani's uh, relational encounters, um, the themes there actually um, came up with my conversation with, with um, um, the participants. So there is uh, this politicization of ideas um, that Ghana as a democratic state as um, um, uh, um, actually in a position whereby political parties um, are keen to win in political power. So they are mindful of who actually registers um, as a Ghanaian or non ghanaian And then also they need numbers of people to register. So in Ghana, there are, are many political parties, but the landscape has been dominated by the MPP and the NDC. So currently the MPP is the party in power. So the Point is that in the strongholds of these parties, they are careful that um, they not allow people who they deem are not Ghanaians to vote. So, or, or to get these um, 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 voters ID particularly. For instance, at Agogo, Agogo is a stronghold for the MPP. So um, in, in a conversation with some of these um, Fulanis at Agogo, they, uh, um, um, what they said was that, for instance, in a queue, 
to um, access these IDs, some residents and also agents of uh, political parties around the area are to challenge them as not being Ghanaians. Huh. So um, 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 in this kind of situation, um, the IDs are actually seized, particularly those who have been able to go through the process seized and then also those who are yet to be issued are challenged. So here is the case that the Fulanis actually reach out to um, um, their leaders of the other party to come and also negotiate and bargain that they are Ghanaians. So you see where the issue of assessing these ID cards are based on legal frameworks uh, uh, or also are, are, are based on lay-down lay down procedures. Here's the case that it has become um, an issue of negotiation between political parties because they want to win power. And also, um, from, from the conversation, the full allies are not recognized by the Ghanaian state. Um, this, this actually um, um, is evident in the population housing census. So it was until the 2021 population housing census that the leadership actually advocated that they were actually grouped under the Monday speaking um, um, people. Um, before that, they were not recognized. And these actually um, demonstrate in their access to these ideas, particularly with the passport. So in a conversation with um, um, the leader of, uh, um, um, one leader of the Fulani community in Ghana, he actually told me that there are a number of Fulanis who are Ghanaians, second or third generation, they are descendants of these um, uh, Fulani, who go to the immigration service or the office for passport. And at the mention of the Fulani origin, they are blacklisted and they are sent away. While these people have these um, legal documents for them to be issued, Huh. So these are some of these. These are, these are some of the challenges that they face, and also there is the issue of uh, bureaucratic partiality, and the process that everyone goes through when it reaches the turn of the full line is quite different. It's it's offensive, and um 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 and these um, officials actually um 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 intentionally and deliberately um actually um um demand all sort of documents that are not um um relevant for them being asked or uh, issue the IBs. For instance, in a conversation with some of the Fulani, they actually um, 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 told me that um, with when they went, wanted to access the national ID, the Ghana card particularly, at times when they go there and then they, they open up that they are from the Fulani origin, they ask them to provide documents of their grandfathers, which, which do not have any bearing. Um, or, or, or on the legal procedures for them to accord these kind of um, 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 ideas. And also there are instances where those who have are supposed to vouch or, or guarantee as part of the frameworks of getting um, ideas. So when they want to vouch for their, for their relatives, at times their cards are seized and then they are sent away that they are not Ghanaians. So these are some of the dynamics that actually um, unfold with regards to the Fulani's um, experiences with the IDs um, um, in Ghana. So in as much as the literature on technical and regulatory factors are important, um, with regards to some ethnic minorities, there are issues of complex historical, social and political uh, um, phenomenon that actually uh, play out in their access to these um, um, IDs. So um, I'm ready to share my work when I am fully done um, um, to, um, to, to, to anyone who is interested. Thank you very much.